Twitter blogger Jeff Roberts has shared several interesting images of Tesla Giga Texas, in one of which it shows great view into Tesla Cybertruck General Assembly at Giga Texas from yesterday. From these images, you can see that Tesla engineers and Cybertruck assembly workers are moving quick, and you can even see KUKA assembly bots set up in stations. This is the assembly line of Tesla going to build the Cybertruck. Earlier, we have since some Cybertruck equipments were sitting outside for months with no movement, but now that one got inside. Let's go now. And hopefully with um, months, within actually months, we will see the Cybertruck rolling of the assembly line from Giga Texas. What do you think, friends? I think Tesla is on the tail end of building those Cybertrucks and should maybe see test bodies by mid-June early July and general uh, production start delivery starting sometimes by the end of September and probably it's only a matter of time before the windows are blocked what you're seeing here. It's all too convenient that we could hypothetically, hypothetically actually see Cybertruck being made inside the factory and I wonder how long they'll block the casting windows too. Now I express my thanks to Roberts for sharing uh, these pictures, great shot uh, of the cyber line, Cybertruck's production line if i can put it that way now about three days ago we found out that tesla bought a lot of parts for the cybertruck lots of people were interested in how well the cybertruck will do because it could uh, change the way we think about electric cars and pickup trucks tesla has been working hard to get the cybertruck ready for production and we even got to see some pictures of the factory where they were making. Recently we learned that a company in Korea called Seon Ehwa got a big order from Tesla for interior parts for the Cybertruck. They're going to be making the A, B and C pillars and they're going to keep making them until 2028. It's really big order that's worth almost 300 to 230 million US dollars. So what do you think about this? Cyberline that you're seeing in front of you. Do you think Tesla will start test production by mid June, early July, and general production, mass production, and the ramp up starting sometimes in September? Let me know, friends, your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Aryan from torquenews.com. Some breaking developments are coming from Tesla Giga Berlin. This week, Tesla started production of small model Y with front and rear casting and BYD battery in German Giga factory. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. Tesla does not have a large lineup of vehicles, but the company appears to be delivering and diversifying its lineup of battery suppliers. If recent reports are accurate, then perhaps Giga Berlin has started building Model Y units with the much rumored battery from BYD. Tesla Germany, Tesla Giga Berlin currently offers three variants of Model Y crossover. The entry-level variant, which features a rear-wheel drive setup, has so far been important from Gigafactory Shanghai. This suggested that the Model Y rear-wheel drive from Germany has been equipped with lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries from Catal, CATL. Citing industry sources, German publication teslamag.de recently noted that Gigafactory Berlin has also started the production of Model Y units that are equipped with batteries from BYD. If accurate, this would mean that Gigafactory Shanghai would have some breathing room for its experts as Model Y rear-wheel drive units that were previously sent to Germany could now be sent to other countries. Interestingly enough, the German publication's sources also suggested that the new Model Y variant being produced at Giga Berlin is, is equipped with a structural battery pack. Such a setup would be quite interesting as Tesla's other Model Y variants with structural batteries are equipped with the company's 4680 battery cells. While Tesla has never really confirmed if BYD was battery supplier, previous filings from the electric vehicle maker have indicated that some plans between the two companies, between Tesla and BYD, are likely in the works. In August last year, for example, China-based publications noted that BYD batteries had started deliveries to Giga Berlin. 
Documents leaked in Germany also hinted that the Netherlands Vehicle Authority had granted approval for a new type of Model Y with BYD batteries. What is quite interesting about the recent reports from Germany is the idea that Tesla and BYD are working together to possibly bring the Model Y's most affordable variant to Europe. Media reports typically frame Tesla and BYD as bitter rivals due to the company's competition in China's electric vehicle market. But as per Tesla CEO Elon Musk in a previous comment, relations between Tesla and BYD are positive. So what do you think about a more affordable small model Y with front and rear casting and BYD batteries built at Tesla Giga Berlin, which has apparently started this week? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Below. New Tesla building permits reveal an unannounced lithium lab. There is a little secrecy around this lab, friends. Tesla has yet to announce what this facility will be used for, but with the name lithium lab, there are a few likely possibilities. And in this report, I'm going to talk to about these possibilities. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Harayan from torquenews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel for daily Tesla breaking news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage. Tesla has applied for a set of building permits regarding a previously unannounced lithium lab, which is likely an upcoming research and de uh, development facility. It's no secret that Tesla has been diving head first into developing more dependable lithium supplies, even going as far as opening its own lithium refinery in southern Texas. Now, the electric vehicle maker is also starting up a lithium research division which will operate at an all new research and development facility nicknamed lithium lab in nevada the upcoming lithium lab has been unearthed by electric which found a permit associated with tesla being filed with the city of sparks in nevada just outside of reno and close to tesla giga nevada production facility while very little information was found within the permit application, Tesla notes some key details regarding its construction plans for the new facility. Here is a quote. Tenant improvement projects for the purpose of manufacturing, research and development lithium lab facility, the application states. It also says the scope of work includes mechanical, electrical, plumbing and minor architectural upgrades to support tool installation and process optimization end of the quote tesla has yet to announce what this facility will be used for but with the name lithium lab there are a few likely possibilities foremost relating to its upcoming texas-based refinery the lab could work on refining technologies helping to make the process as cheap and efficient as possible. Second, the facility could focus on new lithium extraction methods or processing systems, helping suppliers get lithium out of the ground more quickly. And third, and finally, the facility could be used for battery development, testing different lithium ion battery technologies to improve energy density, thinks Electra Tesla Rally. Lending credibility to each of these possibilities is the location of the new lithium lab. Being found so close to Tesla's Giga Nevada facility could indicate that the new research and development location is focusing on battery technology. Though, with Nevada being North America's most significant potential source of raw lithium, the lab could also work on refining or extraction technologies. Hopefully, no matter what the facility will be doing, it can open quickly to help create an electrified economy, which Tesla has made clear will be its top priority as it works to fulfill its master plan part 3. So what do you think about this uh, lithium lab, friends? What are your thoughts? What can be a uh, credible possibility for the usage? Cheaper battery technology, cheaper lithium technology for Tesla batteries? Let me know in your comments in the comments. Uh, let me your friends, your thoughts in the comment section below.